All right, good afternoon. Tim Richmond with Wapla County Emergency Management uh, coming to you live from City Hall here this afternoon. Uh, following the governor's press conference, she made a formal announcement that uh, the mayor will have a follow-up announcement here for our community. In regards to something we've been working on for the last couple of weeks in response to the increasing number of cases in our county and in response to your concerns as the public about testing. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna let Mayor Lazio uh, bring you up to speed. On Tuesday afternoon, and we'll do testing on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we want to encourage as many people as possible to do the assessment form that's on the website to be sure that you're eligible and uh, able to be tested. Tim can give you some of the details about that, but I wanna assure the public that we have noticed and paid attention to the increased numbers. And I wanna be sure that the public knows that this is not related to any one business in particular, because uh, one of the things that I've noticed myself, just working with people in the community, all of us interact with a variety of different people. And so, uh, when you leave work, you often contact a variety of different folks. I'm happy to see the media here today with their masks on. I have mine in my pocket, um, and I use it when I come and go out of the office. But the Test Iowa site will really give us some additional information, and we want to be sure that uh, we keep the public informed. And I know Tim and I have talked a lot about the difference in the numbers between our local reporting and the state reporting. And I'm telling you from working with the Wapolo County Public Health that our numbers are accurate and verified. Um, sometimes there is a glitch and duplication when we report to the state. The site will be at the beach at Tumwa and that will be operated by the state folks, uh, Iowa National Guard, the Iowa Department of Public Health and Department of Transportation will all be involved with that. We will supply some support services and we will give them access to the beach facility for storage and for use of uh, restrooms and hand washing. We really think this is an important opportunity and a great asset to the community because a lot of people have been questioning about the increased numbers. And as you know, um, there have been, I think, seven other sites here in the state and it really has helped the state to get a handle on what's happening with community spread. And it really is community spread. So with that, Tim, if you wanna give any details about the arrangements, I appreciate that. Appreciate the press getting this information out to the public. And again, go to the testiowa.com site, do the assessment, and then you'll be notified if you can be uh, tested this week, later this week. Thank you, Mayor. So the test uh, Iowa site, is also linked on our webpage, wapolaready.org, and it will take, give you a link to go right directly to the assessment. So here's how this will work. Uh, you cannot just walk up to the test site and get a test. You have to have a, a ticket, so to speak, as if you were gonna go to a concert. You get that through that Test Iowa site. You need to go on there and do the assessment screening and answer all the questions. And, and potentially anybody that, that uh, has qualifications as follows. Um, uh, Critical workers such as public safety, people that work in food processing facilities, uh, healthcare workers, or anyone that can demonstrate that they've had direct contact with a known positive COVID case or, or the ones that will most likely qualify. Uh, but there's a, there's a set of testing questions that determines that. Uh, once they screen your, or look at your answers and determine if you qualify or not, they will then respond to you to the email you provide and follow up with you to instruct you on how you then proceed to the test site. You'll need to print off the email that has a QR code that you'll be used when you come to the test site to register to log in, to, to come into the, into the test site grounds. Uh, pretty straightforward, but the, the key to the access is the Test Iowa site. Um, any questions from the media here about how this works or anything in general? To my knowledge, there is no cost. It's provided by the state of Iowa for those that qualify. And again, the question for qualifications, do you have to show symptoms or is it more, like you said, people who are higher at There's a matrix where they decide that based on 
questions that they ask you. And, and so folks that are uh, critical infrastructure workers, if you will, maybe have a, 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 a bit more priority because we need those people to continue working. Uh, but definitely people with symptoms or, or uh, definite exposure will be ranked high. And I don't, I don't know the matrix or the scoring behind the scenes, but they take care of that at the state level and then communicate with you directly uh, once you log into the site and fill out that assessment. Uh, you will stay in your car when you get there. Uh, drive up, you'll hand out the, the paper with the QR code and they'll check you in and it's a nasal swab is how it works. Um, and then instruct you after that. And then they will, uh, local public health will follow up uh, in conjunction with State Department of Public Health on the, on the positive test uh, case follows up, just like we do with every other case. And the mayor mentioned that about the numbers. We continue to get questions about the difference in numbers between local and state. As you can imagine, statewide as all these sites are ramped up and ramped up quickly, uh, we've worked on this in a very short time frame. Um, there's a lot of tests being flooded into the lab. And sometimes um, a record may get entered more than once under two different case numbers, but it's the same case. That gets discovered when local public health does the follow-ups and then they report back to the State Department of Public Health and say, hey, these two case numbers are actually the same case. And that's, that's typically what we're seeing. Uh, but you'll see the numbers aren't drastically different. And, and what I wanna say to the public about data is, is knowing how to use the data. So it's really just a kind of representative sample, if you will. So as we've seen numbers increase with the testing that's increased, then we reasonably can assume that we're seeing more widespread community transmission. And it is through the whole county. It's not just focused in one particular area. We're seeing it widespread. And so really it's our actions as a public to follow recommendations, that will determine how fast this spreads or doesn't spread. And remember the whole goal of this is to make it a manageable level so our healthcare system can handle the patients. Um, we can't stop it. You can't stop something like this, but you can slow the spread so we can manage it and work everybody through it. Do you have a feel for how many people will be expected uh, during this test cycle procedure uh, based on prior prior things like that? I, I do not. Um, I don't really have much visibility on what, what has happened in those other sites. And again, every community's demographic is a little bit different. So I'm, I don't really have a, a good predictor on that. And really, we just wanna encourage everyone to go on the site that thinks they, they qualify for the test and, and get signed up and, and we'll run as many people through that site as we possibly can. So the DOT will be handling some of our traffic flow and have signage up to guide people through the test site. Uh, Tumbo Police Department, Walpaw County Sheriff will also be assisting with that traffic flow. And a lot of the reason we selected the beach at Tumwa was just that we have the access road that goes back to the beach that can be used as the queue to try and release some of that traffic off of Church Street. Any other questions? If not, I encourage you to go to the Test Iowa site. Um, and register and um, Mayor, did you have any other comments? All right, thank you all.